They set out for a blockade and they succeeded. A day of massive disruption on Bay Area roads by pro-Palestinian protesters. Tonight, turning into confrontations with police, the most intense we've seen all day. Right now, we're tracking the day of action, from ripping down fences outside Tesla to stopping traffic on 880 in Oakland and traffic drivers for hours on the Golden Gate Bridge. I'm feeling pretty frustrated. We just found a get to home, man, or work. Everybody's just mad. Plus, a pastor deeply involved in the South Bay community now charged with sexually assaulting a child. Allegations of years of abuse. And tonight, one of the pastor's own children is speaking only to ABC7. And an emotional night for a Stanford star. Cameron Brink heading to the WNBA. And her first congratulations come straight from Steph Curry's mom. This is just a, such, such a nerve-wracking environment, but it, we work so hard for this. A lot to get to tonight, all on ABC7 News at 11. Always live, ABC7 News starts right now. And we begin tonight with the protests across the Bay Area. The last one wrapping up just hours ago with police firing pepper balls. Good evening, I'm mm. Amadeus. But I'm Dan Ashley. Thanks for joining us. Now, these gatherings were not massive in attendance, but they had a huge impact. The CHP arrested 38 people tied to the first round of protests this morning. Protesters uh, targeted three spots, the Golden Gate Bridge and uh, one location in each direction of 880 in Oakland. Frustrated drivers ended up trapped for hours as CHP worked to break up the demonstration. Protesters went to extremes to make sure it lasted as long as possible, linking themselves to cars through tubes and chaining themselves to barrels filled with concrete. It took jackhammers to free them. Twelve hours after the protests first started, another group gathered outside the Tesla factory in Fremont. That's where ABC 7 News reporter mm. Tim Johns is tonight, wrapping up this, this disruptive day of action.